Dior lip oil knockoffs. Let's get into it. This brand blatantly copying Dior, but wait, V1 wasn't good enough. They came back with a V2 to really take Dior to their grave. Down to the same exact shade and typography. We have our side-by-side -side pack comparison. Immediately, we're noticing a difference in terms of the shade. Next thing that we should notice is that they did not splurge for the extra deco on the cap, but they did manage to identically match what we call here the cheater band. It's just the packaging terminology for making the product look a little bit more full in a vial. And they're also missing a bottom label. On the front, Boom, we have our weighted difference in terms of typography. Our Dior looks cleaner, thinner, sexier, crisper. Good job, LVMH. And our knockoff has a thicker weight to the font. Let's get into the product. This is my knockoff and you can see more sheer pink. Also more opacity here. Seeing a little bit more of a tonality to the actual bulk in the Dior. The ingredient listing doesn't talk at all about Red 21, which is one of the key drivers of what gives that Dior its signature soft stain. Both are describing a cooling sensation. Let's get these on our lips. Let's go with Dior. There's a very specific viscosity and texture to the formula. Thick flocked applicator laying it down, more hydrating lip gloss that's not as sticky. Side by side, our knockoff brand, pray for me. Harder to release, still getting that same texture viscosity. I'd say a little bit more product releases from my knockoff. The wiper is way tighter so that I'm literally like pulling this out harder. Our flocked applicator is not as soft and it's way stiffer. We're getting a higher level of shine from the Dior immediately. Ultimately, the tone is slightly different. Upon lay down, they feel identical. The real moment you're gonna notice the difference is when I do my grip test on my lips. Way more menthol in my knockoff. We have a bit of a thicker feeling texture. Although the ingredient list looks basically identical outside of the colorants, I am noticing a slight new nuance in the formulation. Our knockoff is more cooling, heavier. My colorant on my Dior is stronger in terms of that pH adjustment with the Red 21. I'm also almost feeling there's a break in lip. There's more tack as my lips are moving. I'm feeling a little bit more friction from my knockoff. Not comfortable, not something I wanna keep putting on my lips. In fact, I am a little concerned about what this might be. It's like a little bit of a glue-like texture almost. Because of how tacky, the knockoff is, I'm getting more pilling. We're taking her off immediately. That's the T on knockoffs. It's always interesting to explore the knockoff market as a product developer. It's another opportunity for you to evaluate. I can't tell you what to do, but I could definitely educate you on the differences. What do you think?